Hi there folks, my name is Eric and I'm the assistant editor at Game Reactor Norway and this is my top 5 games of 2016. Number 5 is Playdeads Inside. The Danish studio has done an incredible job of improving upon what they did in Limbo. This time giving us a more diverse experience while still keeping the atmospheric environments and intriguing story. This time polishing the gameplay down to the very core, being chased by the dogs, thinking every time that it'll catch you and you'll hear that horrible sound in your headphones. Inside is an experience that will linger in my mind for quite some time. Fourth on my list is Arcane's Designer 2. Arcane has done a great job of improving even further upon the environmental details and environmental storytelling in this all new environment. Top this with now being able to choose between Corvo and Emily, each with their own abilities, fascinating abilities, and now, thanks to New Game Plus, even being able to combine their abilities is an astonishing achievement. Who knew that you can still make such a balanced and polished experience and you have so much freedom in such an open world. Great job from Arcane once again. I'm looking forward to more. Third on my list is Blizzard's Overwatch. Yes, I know, it's basically on everyone's list, but there's a reason for that. The incredibly polished gameplay combined with an astonishing array of diverse characters is absolutely amazing. Not only in terms of visuals and design, but also in terms of gameplay. Each and every one of us probably have different favorite characters and much of that is due to different backstories, charm, abilities. It's a game pretty much for everyone. On top of this, with Blizzards continuing to listen to feedback and change the game for the better, and you have yourself an incredible game. Well done Blizzard. Second place goes to Teclas The Witness. I've never been much of a puzzle guy myself before, but this was an incredible experience. Just feeling the sense of progression in each and every puzzle is astonishing. If you're stuck in one puzzle, all you have to do is visit some of the other themed puzzles and probably get a few hints as to how you're going to solve the original one. Going back and forth you might almost call it a metroidvania puzzle game. Absolutely astonishing. This combined with a very nice visuals. I, it was very intriguing to just walk around the island, seeing some of the mysteries, trying to make it out in my head. What's it all? What's it all about? I still don't know. Do you? Still, it will be stuck in my mind for quite some time only beaten by one game. And the game that beat the witness is, drumroll, Naughty Dogs Uncharted 4 A Thief's End. I had very high hopes for this game and Naughty Dog delivered the goods. Not only did they deliver an absolutely amazing cast and story, really delivered in terms of gameplay as well. Yes, they didn't exactly do anything new, but they really polished what they already had and brought in a few other mechanics that made for a more fun experience. We got the hook, hook that you can do some incredible moves with and some other more fluid animations, if you might call it that, Running around with barely any bullets in your gun, meeting an enemy, punching the enemy out, grabbing his gun out of the air, keep on shooting, makes for an incredibly paced game and an astonishing experience that I will never forget. 
a very nice, what seems to be, ending for Nathan Drake and some of the others in the Uncharted universe. Thank you so much, Naughty Dog. I'm looking forward to more.